Sayesmith Carax. I have been looking for you. Artanis. Oh, praise the Your gods. Your They must be removed. It was done by the Dark Templar. I am free of the Kala's corruption. Are there others? I have saved all that I could. Come. We must escape this world before time runs out. Escape? How? The Spear of Adun still rests beneath the ruins of Kor Shakal. Its generators are ancient, but a phase smith of your ability will know how to bring them online. The Spear of Adun? I... I am honored to have the opportunity. This is fortune we cannot ignore. Indeed. Come, we must go at once. to the Spear of Adun. As long as its generators still function, I should be able to bring them online. Once the Spear is fully activated, we must flee from this fallen world. The Spear of Adun lies dormant beneath the heart of the Conclave. I had hoped to raise it, to secure our victory against the Zerg. But now... It is our last hope for survival. Our time is. Why do you flee from your salvation? Solindus. She has fallen under Amon's control. Carax, we have to bring the Spear of Adun online. The first power cell is activating, but the remaining four have been disabled by creep. I see. We have no choice but to clear them. What of our defenses? Unfortunately, they are without power. However, the Spear of Adun support systems can aid us. They will allow us to deploy pylons anywhere on the battlefield. We should deploy one here as soon as possible. These photon cannons can defend our nexus point, Hierarch. They require only a pylon to function. You can warp in a pylon using the Spear of Adun. Press the Deploy Pylon button at the top of your command screen. Our cannons will now fire upon enemies within range. If they become damaged, the shield battery will restore their shielding. These defenses will indeed be vital to our evacuation, but our first priority must be to clear the power cells of Creep. We can now transform our gateways into warp gates. This allows us to warp in warriors to any area with pylon power. I like for items. Former Artanis. Construct additional pylons. You must construct additional pylons.
Zergling bioforms on approach to our nexus. We must rally our defenses. Darkness. Detecting unpowered warp gates nearby. Constructing a pylon next to them would restore their power, giving us an advantage. The Spear of Adun's deploy pylon ability would be ideal for this. Of course, our probes can always warp in pylons as well. <laughs> Upgrade complete. Our forces have discovered a warp gate. Now, we only need to construct a pylon to power it. Warp gate online. We can begin warping in warriors from it immediately, Hierarch. You must place that in a power field. Here in the shadows. I am here in the shadows. I am here in the shadows. We are one with or you require my cold is the void. Very well. For the reckoning, there are clues. I The second power cell is active. The spear's sensor array is reacting. Sensors online. Wait, what is this? Warp prisms approaching our nexus point. Stalkers, eliminate those warp prisms. Caution, Hierarch. You are approaching the Zerg's Hive Cluster. It will be heavily defended. For now. Intriguing.
sea. Stay cold it is the void. Intriguing. Very wise. of Zerglings is approaching our nexus from the south. So the eclipse. We're almost finished, Hierarch. The Spear of Adun is nearly online. Only one cell remains. Enough. The end to the cycle of infinite madness has come. Cease your struggle against the salvation I bring. It shall be as you say. For the reckoning. I am the voice of the let our enemy know our fury. I serve.
transfer completed. The Spear of Adun is ready to depart. For all first men freed from Amon aboard, Facesmith. We must flee this world if we are to survive. As you command. 